a the face of the planet Earth, the future and I don't care about climate change, the places where to move, the guarantees you don't have, the things we cannot change. We all agree that the face pimples are the active volcanoes and the face scars are wars we still fight. The battles are for the territories and resources. Things are about to get ugly regarding weather, seasons, and climate change facts. Water is more expensive than gold. Money don't buy you food in a starving country. Knowledge doesn't help between poor people. They don't care how smart are you. We talk surviving and adaptability. There are only two places on Earth where you can live and avoid somehow the climate change facts and issues. The best places where you can move and live are the expensive ones, where it is difficult to obtain residency, and the leaders of those countries know that they are blessed with a good geographic position and the natural resources they have. Nobody is naive when we talk resources and money. We sell expensive every time, because we buy expensive every time. In those places the wind is mild, the sun is not so hot, and the green is greener, the weather is balanced and people live a long happy life, they eat healthy and the living conditions are good, you are social safe, your assets are protected, and being exclusive due the high cost of living, makes those places special. I will not say names of places. The second type of places, protected from the facts of climate change, are places in poor countries, where people live the simple life, where money doesn't matter so much, and you as a rich man are not welcome there, because the majority is poor and they know each other and have unwritten rules that a rich human don't agree with. Imagine to live in a small village where all the houses and gardens don't have fences and no one is stealing, when everyone is poor. And they use barter methods instead of money, or time as payment method, I work for you ten days, you give me wood for winter, or you will work for me ten days in exchange. Returning to the face, the nose smells air pollution, the cheeks are full of tears. Yes, tears for the forests. The dirty teeth represent the world hunger that humanity is still enduring, and the numbers are growing, despite all the anti-famine measures. The innocent eyes are the eyes of the children, they have the future ahead, our legacy for them are the climate change projects, that we begin today. Make lakes with rain water, make the desert a green place, produce food in the cities, recycle or don't produce so much waste. Welcome to Enrich Talks YouTube channel, why this talk may be useful. Because you can make a change, you can think and invest different, and you give a helping hand to Mother Nature who makes efforts to keep us alive and healthy, despite all the bad things we do to our planet. Writing John loves Mary on the bark of a tree it's a sign of stupidity not a sign of love. From one plastic pet bottle buried in the soil, to extremely toxic pollution that big companies are spreading everywhere, from the oceans to the deserts, the suffering nature, the results of our actions, and the destiny of the planet, cannot be changed. Regarding climate change everything we live now, and the droughts, the rising level of water, the snow in the sand, and the melting mountains, the dying animal species and plants, the nature that is recovering her land, with bad human decisions, invasive plants, insects, and animals. Our Stages of the Earth Evolution The industrial meaning of climate change is the change of climate patterns attributed largely to the increased levels of atmospheric carbon dioxide produced by the use of fossil fuels. The jaw of the face is the arrogance everyone has. You have your own thoughts, own experiences with nature, own environment where you depend on nature to survive. We are so small in comparison with the power of nature, and we still act stupid, 
for example, a flood or a tree and our life savings or house is ruined, harsh reality checkup. The real problem is that now we are still free and have options, but in the future, things will change, borders will treat people different, and the battle for the same land and survival at the end, will be tough. I have a talk called, Invest in Natural Resources, link in the description of this video, you can choose, a big house or a plot of land, an expensive car or own a lake, a forest, or a holiday trip versus surviving knowledge, somehow you are a global citizen. It's true, I live in Europe, and it is true that we have opportunities that other people only dream of but it is also a personal choice, a sacrifice each of us has to make for his better future, I have some land inherited from my grand-grandparents, they bought this land more than 100 years ago, tell me an investment that is so old and still makes revenue? You get the point. We cannot hide from the face of climate change and we all feel the changes that are about to happen with our human species in relation with nature. You are not protected, you are not special, you don't own your place, you just enjoy the benefits of living here or you have the option to move to another country, other rules, other climate. Things are about to get ugly regarding weather, seasons, and climate change facts. Water is more expensive than gold, money don't buy you food in a starving country, knowledge doesn't help between poor people, they don't care how smart are you, we talk surviving and adaptability. See you in the next episode.